Well, it's amazing to be here in the Arctic, whether it's your first time or your 10th time, it's different every time. For me as a historian, I read so much about for 500 years of history, but to travel on a ship in the wake of these great explorers, in search of this elusive point in the North Pole, and to be able to step on the sea ice, to drink in the wild air, remember the historical stories, but just to be in this incredible wilderness, well, that's a real privilege that gets better actually each time you do it. I've been traveling uh, to the Arctic now for, for over a decade, and of course, uh, year on year, we can see uh, seasonal changes. It's difficult to take a bigger perspective. We know uh, the conversations about climate change. We know that in the summer, the sea ice is, is getting thinner. Um, the most obvious change for me on ships and expeditions like this is the type of people come. Year on year, adventurous people, but increasingly people from a wide range of nationalities. We stand here at the North Pole today with people from 18 different nations. Europe, North America, China, Russia, all united with the ambition to stand at this most northerly spot uh, and to celebrate uh, the special nature of this place and to think a little bit more about when we go home, the things maybe we can change our lives. Um, it's a, a, an experience that's very difficult to sum up into words. Until you come here, you can't really maybe understand it. Maybe you think it's terribly dangerous and terribly cold We stand here in a difficult situation but in beautiful sunshine with the whole of the Arctic Ocean surrounding us.